everyone, it's Ali here and welcome back to Fab Little Dish and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Fab Little Dish is your cozy little nook for all things home decor inspiration, from design trends to DIYs to different styling, thrifting, travel inspiration, just so much more. There's So if any of that interests you, please make sure to subscribe. But I have such a fun treat in store for you all today. I've been collecting and curating and thrifting for a lot of the pieces for today's decorate with me for a while now so we're gonna be doing cottage core kitchen we're gonna be decorating it together we're gonna be styling different things and, and this is really on point with the rest of my apartment I live in a 1930s apartment and I've been turning it into a French cozy cottage but really just that's everything from European influences and a whole bunch of different eras that kind of blend into a cozy romantic spring cottage <laughs> so I'm really excited about this particular decorate with me because it's my kitchen and it's extra cozy and it's I really love how it turned out and if you love all things cottagey, cottage core, florals, just any kind of spring loveliness and thrifted vintage finds then you are in the right place and I am so excited that you're here. So let's go ahead and decorate my cottage core kitchen together. Since we're diving right into the whimsical world of cottagecore as we decorate my kitchen together today, let's first talk cottagecore. Cottagecore is all about embracing a maximalist style where every corner tells a story. So think lots of florals, layered textures, and a mix of thrifted vintage finds. It's about creating a cozy, nostalgic vibe that transports you to a simpler time. Cottage core style often blends elements of various aesthetic styles, such as French country, known for its rustic elegance and charm. A big one is shabby chic, with its vintage-inspired decor and soft pastel color palettes. Shabby chic seamlessly merges with cottage core, adding a touch of romanticism and nostalgia. So that is a particular favorite of mine and another fun and trendy aesthetic is a uh, romantic core and another is fairy core and we have grandma core so all these styles really come together to create a warm and inviting atmosphere that celebrates nature simplicity and nostalgia In this video, I will be styling many of the thrifted pieces I've shown in my recent Thrift With Me videos where I looked for thrifted vintage finds that had cottage core vibes to the extreme. So lots of florals, layered textures, little tchotchkes, trinket shelves, spice racks, anything copper, baskets, china, oil paintings, and just so much more. So just imagine yourself at your grandmother's house full of all of these treasures and well-loved pieces. That is exactly the look that you're gonna be trying to go for in your own cottage core kitchen. I'm starting with the main focal point of the kitchen and I wanted this to be pretty dramatic. I always love using runners and tablecloths on my countertops and cabinets in my kitchen because it complements whatever theme I'm going for and I also have a lot of white space on my cabinets and it takes care of a lot of that. And in this case, I'm putting also a matching tablecloth on the fridge which is directly across from where I'm standing right here and so having this print on both sides of the kitchen looking directly at each other it really creates a dramatic effect so you'll see that towards the end of the video in the final reveal but I also used this blanket ladder from World Market and if you have seen my other videos in the past I usually use this to display my tea towels but I'm using it as a backdrop to hang pieces on top of this shelf like some copper 
pots or baskets or I wasn't really sure exactly what at the time but I knew it would be perfect for hanging things. And I used some heavy pieces uh, like that spice rack and these beautiful copper pots and pans to really weigh that ladder down and trust me it's not going anywhere. <laughs> And I also put on some baskets and paintings and other fun vintage finds that complemented the other pieces. This rustic birdcage holds a very special place in my heart. It's passed down from my grandmother's very best friend and its presence adds character and coziness to my cottage core kitchen and it's really paying homage to my grandma's best friend Jan who was the queen of ultimate cottage core. She had the cutest cottage core kitchen and I just feel honored to have a little piece of her in my own. Incorporating florals and greenery is essential to capturing the essence of the cottage core aesthetic. These natural elements not only bring the beauty of the outdoors inside, but also evoke a sense of tranquility and serenity in the home. So if you're looking to escape just busy city life or just corporate life or just a chaotic life in general, and you're looking to have a safe, cozy escape, this theme is definitely for you. And all of the florals that just really lend a hand to this overall theme just make it so feminine and so lovely and really gives the whole vibe a whimsical charm and a vintage inspired appeal. Florals and greenery really add warmth and character to any space and really just makes a whole room feel that much more cozy and inviting. Whether it's a bouquet of fresh cut flowers on the table or a botanical illustration on the wall or a pretty oil painting on a table or a cute floral china pattern. These elements really contribute to that idyllic charm of countryside life where you can be more carefree and relax and unwind.
Peter Rabbit artwork from my vintage Easter living room is staying out because Beatrix Potter is cottagecore to the max. <laughs>
this was a really fun DIY where I added some cozy chic wallpaper to the back of my coffee bar. This pattern looks so cute next to the copper molds that I hung up on the wall next to them and it just really transformed the space. These, this was super easy to do. This was a peel and stick wallpaper and it went on really nicely. I absolutely look forward to making coffee here now every single morning. Plates, plates, plates. Oh my. <laughs> These are such a staple when going for this look. Blue and white china is a huge cottagecore favorite, especially the ones with pastoral scenes. I opted to use two blue and white and two kind of brown and cream, and I think they turned out really nice. My favorite plate is the one with the lady in her very own cottagecore kitchen. Let me know what yours is. Now this is a simple and inexpensive way to add some color and different textiles into your space. Just put some old pieces of fabric in vintage frames and then hang them on the wall. It really kind of just creates a really cute look and you can even incorporate these in a gallery wall or anything like that. And this is my favorite DIY, and it was a complete accident how I stumbled upon it. <laughs> the easiest DIY cottagecore sink skirt where you can still open both of the cabinet doors. So what you need to do is just use a large pillowcase, 
you need, you're going to need two of them, one for each door, and you're going to want one that has a crease down in the middle. That's where you'd normally slide the pillow into, so it's not a pillowcase where it's like on top, it's in the middle in the back. So then you just put that case, you slide it onto the door, and then you just kind of fold and tuck that extra fabric over and bunch the loose fabric at the top so it looks more like a curtain. It's easier to show it than explain it. So let me know if you have any issues as you're trying this out, but I've had mine up now for a week and it is holding up very well. It's so easy peasy. DIY in this decorate with me video. We were really busy today. I used an entire curtain panel as wallpaper for this section of my kitchen wall. This floral print absolutely gives off that cottagecore vibe with its creamy and vintage colors. I used tacks to hang each corner tightly on each four corners and you want to make sure the fabric is stretched out to its max so it keeps its shape and then I layered on some scotch uh, or command sticky grips that I normally use on artwork this will just take out some of the pressure from the corners and keep the shape of the fabric throughout I just put a couple pieces in the middles on each side and it looks so cute it really took care of a lot of that white space and just added a huge extra element of cozy doing some last minute styling here of these cute vintage vines many of which we found together during my thrift with me videos so make sure to watch those if you already haven't it's really fun bringing all of these pieces back to life and seeing how they're naturally fitting in with the vibe of my entire french cottage transformation You 
you're also gonna see me move some things around a few different times because when you're a professional decorator who really gets in the zone, you're always striving for symmetry and balance because every single detail matters when you're styling. So we will completely redo an entire display if something doesn't feel right. <laughs> really, we just go with our instinct and my instinct is usually always right when it comes to my decor. If there's something I don't like about it and it's bothering me, there's usually a good reason reason behind that and sometimes you even need to sleep on something before you're committed to going with your instinct and redoing something that's what happened to me here in a few different areas in the kitchen so don't be surprised if you see some things look a little different when we're doing the grand reveal tour towards the end of the video Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are so far on my cottage core kitchen transformation in the comments below i just love hearing what you all have to say and stay tuned for the grand reveal where you will see the final transformation of this charming cottage core kitchen
me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm so excited to hear what you all think of my cottagecore kitchen, my new addition to my French cozy cottage that I have been creating over the past month or so. Make sure to tune in to the other Decorate With Me videos that I have come out with for spring. It has just been so fun. It has been such a fun little journey that I have had with all of you and each one is a different adventure. So make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the next ones that are coming up because the decorating never stops. <laughs> and until next time, stay lovely my friends.